guys welcome back to a new video and a new build we finally got a new build home and i'll show you guys what it is so this is our new build it's a 2015 dodge ram heavy duty turbo diesel with a cummins engine it's a four-door truck as you see with the eight foot bed right now it's all stock pretty low of course it's four by four and the damage is on the driver's side i want to wash the truck first and then i'll go around and show you everything We are ready to wash this truck but i don't have a tape to cover this gap over here and we're gonna have to wash it somehow and keep this part dirty over here not to get water inside Right guys, so I can't really finish washing this truck because the pressure on the water, it's really weak and the pressure washer doesn't really help. And using a water hose, same thing, instead of like spraying water, it just leaks water. And I'm gonna throw everything in the truck and I'll uh, park in the front and finish washing the truck over there. Right, guys the truck is all clean so this one comes with eight foot bed which if you build a truck like this lift it a little bit with some big wheels this thing is gonna be a monster I like how it's bed lined there inside and has no scratches no damage looks like they almost didn't use this bed it's really clean inside oh it's a little bit of dirt but other than that this thing is clean four by four of course we're gonna get rid of uh chrome nobody likes chrome nowadays it has sensors which is, helps when you back up this side no damage no scratches no dents it looks really clean for 2015 now when it's done it's gonna be a little higher we're gonna have different wheels um different bumper because this one is damaged the headlights looks like this one it leaks something tells me there has a crack somewhere and the water gets inside and it's pushed out so that might be bad but it doesn't matter because we're gonna put aftermarket uh, headlights and there is the damage over here basically the bumper it's damaged the fender the hood is pretty good doesn't have no dents no scratches which is good because this hood over here for the diesel they're really expensive the door 
it needs to go. We need a new door. And of course, the mirror is good. The handle, the door panel, everything is good inside. It's dirty. I didn't want to clean inside, not until the truck is done because it's gonna get dirty anyways. But this door is good. And the bed, we're gonna save the bed. We're just gonna change the skin from this side. I did that on one of my trucks before. It's easier to change the skin than the whole bed. And I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to find a eight foot bed. Right guys, so after I opened the hood, I looked over here, it does not look like we have a brain damage. The fender got hit in the bottom and they ripped out of the screws. Uh, the grill, the plastics, everything, it wasn't moved, which means there is no frame damage, everything is uh, perfect, even the hood. Uh, but we will change this grill. I don't like the chrome. I'll change the grill. We'll change the bumper for two reasons, because I don't like the chrome and uh, it's damaged. So looking at this wheel, you can tell that it got hit a little bit and for me to double check to be safe, I kind of look everything over there. Doesn't look like we have a suspension damage and I check the wheels, they're all looking in the same direction. It's not that this one is off than other one, which is good that we don't have a suspension damage. Um, I can't really tell what's over there. I mean, looking from here looks good after we pull the fender we pull the door we'll see how deep the damage is it might be a little damaged but we don't know yet I, I gotta get rid of the fender and the door right guys so we just moved in our new shop and i don't have any tools right now over here just a little bit of tools but i'd like to lift this truck and look under because i just Looked over here and looks like we do have some suspension damage. I don't know how bad it is, but it's something. Basically this is not in the place. So this one has to be higher and that needs to be connected somewhere right there. Uh, looking to the other side, it's right there, it's bent and it's damaged. So there is some damages. Well, after I pull the parts out, lift the truck, we'll find more damage than what we see from outside right now. Man, I really wish I had my tools over here to lift this truck up and go under because this thing is actually hella low. I'll show you guys uh, the bottom, the whale pan. Looks like it's bent. I hope there's no cracks or leak. But yeah, there's the whale pan right there. And it's pretty bent. Right there. Well, let's see if you have any oil. That's gonna tell me if there is a leak. If it's just bent, it's not a problem. We'll change. If I'm low on oil, that means there is a leak somewhere. The damage is bigger than it look. So I hope we have oil on this engine. Yeah, this thing is long. It's like way up there, almost like in the rear seat. Actually, we're good on oil. It's dirty really dirty black but that's a good news the there's no cracks no damage just the oil pan is bent we will change it because if it's bent it kind of pushes the oil higher and you think you have enough oil but it might be less than what we need so we will change that that's for sure these mosquitoes are killing me let me show you guys the truck inside so out of the airbags only this uh roof airbag deployed um all the expensive ones are still here like the steering wheel and the dashboard and the seat belts they're no good they have to be reset down on the same so two seat belts the airbag and we gotta reset the airbag computer after we change the airbags 
Um, the headline there, it's good. It's a little bent over here, but that's fixable. And it's really clean. I was surprised when I saw that because usually the trucks, they have them really dirty, but this one is clean. It has a lot of room. Like I mentioned before, it's four by four. It's six seater. You lift this up. You put a kit over here or, I mean, even adult. I don't know if you pull this. No, this one doesn't go up. So yeah, it's six seater though. I don't really like them. I like when everything over here, it's kind of one thing. Not so much storage room under this. But other than that, I love it. It has a lot of room. It's huge. And there is a lot of room over here in the back. Like seriously. You know, there's a little boxes over here. I wonder if that's like a cooler or something. Put some ice. Oh, that thing's come, comes up. Yep. Put a little bit of ice. And some drinks. Yeah, that's cool. There is one more on that side. Yeah, right now it's really dirty. It's a mess. But when it's done, I'm gonna clean up and good to go. Let me show you guys something that I was wondering. Why do they have, and I think only Dodge has them. Why do they have these holes over here? This one and that one. So basically, you know, it's a work truck. You have your gloves. What do you do? It's you come over here, put them like that. Or like that. So that's why they have these holes for for your gloves. Boom. <clears throat> right guys this is a wrap for today's video but stay tuned for the next video on this dodge we're gonna be pulling all the damaged parts out lifting this truck a little higher that way we can go under and see from every corner how bad this damage is thanks guys for all the love and support you guys are the motivation we keep getting more builds please share and like our videos and subscribe to our channel find us on instagram it's custom auto builds and i'll catch you guys on the next video